Hello, this is a video to show you how to add a sight word to Seesaw so your students can practice. First thing you're going to do is you're going to click the add sign and you're going to click post to student journal. Then you're going to click add file and I'm doing this from a computer so this would be the easiest way for you to do this. And you're going to click select from computer and then I'm going to click on my Seesaw sight words and then I'm going to click on the word that I want to add. So I'm going to click on the word come and add, open it. Now the important thing with this is you want to add one word at a time. Then you're going to click the green button. And the reason you want to add one word at a time is because otherwise if you add more, the drawing feature that won't work. Then you're going to click the green button again. And then you're going to click everyone. And hit submit. And there you go. So now I'm going to show you the perspective from the student and how they can practice their sight words at home. Um, another suggestion I have is if you don't want to assign everyone all the sight words, say some of your kids already know all the sight words, is you can just assign certain words to certain students that they need to practice. So what they're going to do is once they sign in using the QR code or the class code, um, they're into your class on Seesaw. You're going to click, they're going to click the three dots down here and then they're going to hit copy and edit. Now I'm going to pretend to be TPT2 today, the unicorn. And you're going to click on the draw button to rainbow write. And that's my recommendation and where, which one they should start with. So they're going to, they can practice going C, O, M, E, come. And then they can pick a different color. Now they can go ahead and pick a different color, and that's why it's called rainbow writing. And they can write it again. C O M E Ooh, E Come. That's kind of messy. But you get the idea. Then after they choose like three or three to five colors of practicing writing the word, then they can go ahead and lay write us type out a sentence. This is good for them to practice their writing skills. Um, it's also good for them to practice their typing skills. So I'm going to go ahead and start typing. Um, she comes to the park. Obviously this is a lot more advanced um, than a kindergartner would write it, but this is just an example of them writing a sentence. If they're on an iPad, they can add emojis if you that option is, is available on the iPad. And then the last thing that they're going to go ahead and do, and they can change, if by clicking on it, they can like change the style of how they want the font. They can add different backgrounds. Um, so I like that one. And then you're going to go ahead and click the green dot. And then, you're gonna, and then there's their final product. They can write a caption. They can also record, which I think is important. So you're gonna, they're going to click the red button. Come. She comes to the park. And then there's the recording for them. And then they, that's another way for them to practice their sight words. So they're not only writing it, seeing it, but now they're saying it and hearing it. And there you go. Then they're going to click the green button and it will be sent to you for your teacher approval. And it says waiting for teacher approval. Thanks for watching.